right. Oh, sorry about that noise. Um, we're gonna look at the menus here in in the pocket. We turn it on by long press on the record. That happens there, and you can turn it uh, on the microphone by long press here. Oh, it sounds on now. So now we have here the external microphone now. Right. So this display can be turned around. You can turn the camera on like that when you turn the display. Let me turn it off again. So this display shows the charge status of the internal battery as well as the external battery. Interesting enough, I charged that yesterday was 100%, now it's 63%. So the charge of the second battery is weird to me. But never mind, let's turn this on like this. It only turns one way. There is this little nose on here. Down here. This is where you turn it on. It only works one way. You can't turn it on twice. Oh, not in both directions. And if you mm, want to turn it off, you can turn it off here. But it does not turn off when you record, okay? So you turn this on, like this, and you go into recording mode. So let's say we are recording now. Push the button, we are recording. You can't see this here, because the pop-up is in the way. But now it is here. Okay. Now, it's recording, and you flip the screen, then it stays on. It keeps recording. Right. It only turns off when the recording is off. So let's stop recording here. No, we aren't recording anymore. And then you can swipe on the screens and do things with it. You have your um, button with your own settings, those presets. Screen rotate capture. Look at that in here the brightness of the screen, full brightness to low brightness, 50% brightness, there here, you enable or disable FT selfie, yeah. selfie on, then it's looking for you always and does the selfie mode, click again and selfie off. Oh, here, settings. Now, since the wireless microphone is connected, it does have a wireless microphone setting. There you can see this. So, you can connect two of those wireless microphones, but the combo kit comes only with one. You can see, one is connected here. It's 100% charged, and can 15 hours record. Now, the monitor volume is 50%. There, this is the monitor volume. Oh. Okay. You can wipe it up more. Oh. You can do the transmitter settings if you want the LED on or not. If you want vibration on or off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can do um, low cut, it's on, right? Auto, audio to video sync, you can turn that on. You can do oh, cancel. You can do a 32 bit float recording. Then we have a transmitter software version 35512. can format the internal card, like, so it has an internal memory card, you can format that. And I know that you want to know how this looks like. I don't know what that does. 
if it only formats the memory or the whole thing. Okay. I don't know if it still works, but we'll see. Now we'll cut all the settings, stay in there. Okay, okay. There we go. So that was the microphone settings. Wireless mic. The gimbal start up direction, it's going forward, so you can change that if you want. The rotate screen to power off is at two seconds. Um, you can change that to what? To immediate. Now or longer or never. Right. Selfie flip. I don't know what that does. OTG connection. Wireless connection. The variable mode, the gimbal calibration. Joystick speed, video compression, medium sound we have here, the grid, automatic anti flicker, time code you can turn this on or off. I had that on as you could see. The naming management, the screen off when recording, it does never turn off, auto power off in five minutes, LED is on. Continue last live stream. You will see this also on the Osmo action camera format. The internal uh, SD card, right? Yeah, format the internal SD card. As you can see, that menu looks like the Osmo action. Four, right? There's the card, it's formatted. The card does not come with the device. So we were in this menu here, the little glass, the, the little screw or not there. There's portray mode or auto or landscape. Then here the speed of the rotation of the gimbal, we are at default. And then here the gimbal mode, follow mode, tilt lock, FPV, right? There, and this is all we have here, so we can go on and off. That's all those eight settings we have. We can go here, over here, and then uh, as you can see, I'm in the pro mode. We have auto exposure, white balance. Here, those effects are on glamour effects on and off. Um, we have D log M. Uh, if I click on that, it changes to color to normal. Click on that, you can have HLG color or D log again. You move this up further. The focus mode, continuous mode, and the adjustments we know from the Osmo action. Custom noise reduction and sharpness, those are in there. Okay, default. Right. That's in there, right? Here is the little there. So there we have the um, transmitter noise reduction on, transmitter off, transmitter gain is zero. Right. So if you want that a little louder, put this here, let's say plus five, it's going to be a little bit louder. The transmitter uh, will be up here, right? So the green line you can see, and uh, depending on how loud you talk, it's like maybe too loud. If you see too much red up here in the corner, then you may want to get the gain down. Yeah, but so that's how those uh, things look like. You can uh, select here in the corner what mode you want. And you are here in uh, photo mode. Oh, damn, man. 
photo or panorama mode. Video, low light mode, slow motion, and the last one was time lapse, so you just have to do this faster. See that? Time lapse mode. This was my uh, my own setting. The glamour effects you see there in the corner there. Okay, and then uh, back here, you can switch the gimbal around. Look at that. Oh. When you record, no, you can click here. And you push the joystick in for um, zoom, right? So you can push in and go up. Oh, this is gimbal lock. Not push joystick to control zoom and move slider. Push joystick to control zoom. No. Oh, that was the EV thing I was talking about. Oh my god, look at this. This is my fat finger here. Um, I do think you have to learn how to use this. Look at this, this is the zoom. Push in and down, it zooms out. Push in and up, it zooms in. You can still hear left, right. So is this um, actual zoom? Or is this, um, uh, you know, digital zoom? I don't know. I think this is actual zoom. Yeah, that's what I need to find out sooner or later. This is the gimbal modes. As you can see, you have a lot of buttons on here. The dynamic framing. Or this one, the spin shot. 90 or 180 degrees. Press the 5D button or tap icon on screen to enable spin mode, right? So let's say you're recording here. And if you want the spin, you can push the spin button here. Yeah? And then this thing spins. Look at that. And, um, when you go here to the 90 degree mode, here, oh, that was exited, huh? Here, 90 degree mode. Like that. And now you can go this way. Or this way. What an awkward functionality. Isn't that weird? All right. So as you can see, my video is already um, fifteen minutes long. Um. What can I say? That's um figure this out and do another video soon. I'm going to upload this and you guys can look at it for those of you who are interested in how those menus look like. 